Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Costa here, Kid Cheddar Board NF5, coming at you guys with another video. So today, guys, is gonna be the first of two videos for you. The first is gonna be talking about for the these two next two videos are gonna be going over players that I want to see in a Madden 25. Uh now we're doing things a little bit differently this year, obviously. Players that were not in Madden 24 but were in Madden 23 are not going to be on this list. So Cam Chance, the Cam Newton, I mean, as well as guys like Doug Baldwin, for example, and Pete Metzelar, just to name a few, just to name off the top of my head. Uh, those guys are not gonna be on this list just because they were in Madden 23 and they were pretty recently new uh but if they weren't in, if they were in, not in madden 23 and their last time we got a card for them was madden 22 or earlier then they're going to be on this list so uh you'll see who i have picked but uh this video guys is going to be the afc side and then the next video whenever it uploads whenever i get a chance to work on it and set it up for you guys is going to be the nfc side so let's start off with the afc north for the pittsburgh steelers we're gonna go with lynn swan lynn swan for the pittsburgh steelers a lot of people really didn't pay attention to that bow nose card, um, Lin Swan, which understandable because that card really was in a meta where a lot of tall receivers were king and short receivers were not really that good in Madden 22. Uh, but in Madden 23 and Madden 24, they've actually done a pretty good job of making small receivers a lot better, in my personal opinion. And so I do think Madden 24 having uh, having them be having uh, Madden 25 having Lin Swan back would be kind of nice. For the uh, J Cleveland Browns, I'm going with Josh Gordon. Um, now, obviously, this is a fan favorite. Everybody loves Josh Gordon cards, myself included. I love that Josh Gordon card from Madden 22 with that flashback. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people love Josh Gordon cards. I think he should return. Uh, unless he's with the USFL, in which case, then probably not. But obviously, if he is, I think EA should absolutely go out and sign him for like a Campus Heroes promo or something like that. Uh, for the Bengals, I'm going to go with Boomer Esiason. Boomer Esiason is a card that was really, really highly sought after, and you know, for the most part. Though the sad thing is, he is a lefty, so that kind of did kill his value a little bit. But he did get past the elite, which is a lot, which is what people loved uh, about Boomer Esiason. That and the fact that he threw very fast, uh, his throwing motion was very fast too. Overall, I thought was pretty nice. Uh, and then for the Baltimore Ravens, I'm going to go with Adalis Thomas. Last time we saw him was Madden 21. His team diamond card was actually pretty good. I think he got a, I think he got another card later on in the year, but we haven't seen an Adalis Thomas since. Uh, and I would like to see Adalis Thomas back in Madden, please. That would be really nice. it from the jacksonville jaguars we're gonna go with aj boye a player that i think a lot of people forgot about especially with his time in the nfl because he played for a lot of teams but he was very good with the jaguars he was second team all pro all on that saxonville defense that probably should have made an af the super bowl that year but sadly they didn't but you know aj boye i think would be a light nice little pickup for the jaguars especially since the jaguars team team i think is one of the has pretty bad corners uh throughout the year like they're really dependent on like Jalen Ramsey at times with their cornerback depth chart. It's really, really bad. Uh, next we move on to the Indianapolis Colts. Now this is a player I am absolutely surprised is not being requested more. And as a player that I would love to see in Madden, Bob Sanders, Bob Sanders, one of the best safeties of the two thousands. He was consistently injured. Yes. But when he was on the field, he definitely was one of the, probably one of the best safeties in the, not probably he definitely was one of the best safeties. I, uh, one of the best defenders in the NFL as he was 2007 defensive player, the, whatever the year they won, there's the Colts won the Super Bowl with Peyton Manning. Uh, he was defensive player of the year that year. And so Bob Sanders would be a great addition to the Colts secondary uh, for their theme team. And I think a lot of people would like to have more of the 2000s Colts that were really, really dominant because we have Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, Edron James, um, Peyton Manning. We had um, Tony, but we had uh, Jeff Saturday uh, in Madden 23. So, you know, it'd be nice to have all of those guys back. Um, and then for the Tennessee Titans, guys, we're going to go with Eddie George um the original cover athlete like the, the original like player that was on the cover for like the for the for the first time that wasn't madden uh madden himself eddie george one of the better running backs of the 2000s definitely a guy i would like to see back last kind of time we saw him was team captains for madden 21 
And I think that's just way too long. It's just way too long of a card. Bring back Eddie George, especially since we have the cover athletes promo. Be nice to bring him in with the cover athletes again, uh, considering that he was the original cover athlete. At least, you know what I mean. Uh, AFC East, let's start off with the Bills, Jim Kelly. Last time we saw him was also Madden 22, and he was a guy that a lot of people really liked because he was one of the first quarterbacks who could get Gunslinger. And if you guys remember Gunslinger back in Madden 22, they didn't separate it like they have now where all it does is just increase your release speed. Back then, you not only got your increase on release speed, but you also got velocity increase as well. So it was a two-in-one ability that a lot of people obviously took advantage of, and I mean, fair. Uh, but it would be a great, it'd be great to have Jim Kelly back in the game. I would love to see him back, uh, especially because the Bills quarterback position is really dependent on Josh Allen. Next, we have the New England Patriots. Donta Hightower, a guy that I think a lot of people completely overlooked in, not just in Madden, but in his time in the NFL. One of the best linebackers, the most underrated linebacker of the 2010s. He was so good for the Patriots in those years that they won their Super Bowls. Single-handedly won them, quite literally, single-handedly, won them a Super Bowl in Super Bowl 49 if they didn't, if Seattle didn't throw on the one-yard line. But anyways, uh, but Dante Hightower would be nice to have, especially now that we have linebackers with Lurk Artists now, you know, it being an ability that a lot of people want to use. Dante Hightower would be sweet. My, Miami Dolphins, Pat Sertan Sr., not his son, who's already in the NFL as a member of the Broncos, Pat Sertan Sr., I think would be nice to have him in the game. We have a lot. We already have a couple of father-son duos uh, already. I, actually, just the one I think is um, the uh, Porters with Joey and J with both Joey, J both Joey Porter Senior and Junior. So it'd be nice to have Pat Sertan Senior in the game as well. And then later on, and, you know, I'll I'll talk about it when we get there. But Pat Sertan Senior, really nice corner for the was really good for the Dolphins. I think it would be nice to have Pat Sertan in the game. Especially since I don't think we've ever had a Pat Sertan senior. Now moving on to the Jets, Don Maynard. I asked for him last year. We never got him back, so I'm going to ask for him this year as well. It'd be nice to have Don Maynard in the game, especially in comparison in, in the fact with the New York Jets franchises. Because the thing I've noticed with the Jets and their theme teams, a lot of their theme teams are players that, like the players that on their theme team have made their name like everywhere else for like the majority of their players. The good players. Ed Reed, LaDainian Tomlinson, Aaron Rodgers. Um, I mean, to be fair, they do have Jamal Adams and Darrell Rivas. I mean, you could probably say that for every theme team, but I don't know. Maybe, like To me, it feels like the Jets are definitely more of a... The Jets are definitely more of this because, like, they've been a they've been garbage for the bad, bad part of the last 60 years. I think. Something like that. You know what I mean. Uh, and finally moving on to the AFC West first off for the Kansas City Chiefs. This one was tough I'm not gonna lie to you all of the best players that they've had in their franchise are in the game Tony G um, uh, Travis Kelsey uh, Tyree kill is already in the game is in the game even though fuck Tyree kill like, fucking asshole. He knows what he did um, Patrick Mahomes, you know like all these guys the only one I could think of was Bobby Bell, whose last card was in Madden 21, and is another linebacker that I think would be nice to have again, just because of the fact that we have Lurk Artist now, and I think it would be nice to have a Lurk Artist, some more Lurk Artist linebackers, and the fact that he's like six feet something, I think. He's a pretty big guy. Moving on to the Broncos, Ed McCaffrey. Bring back Ed McCaffrey. We got his son on the cover for this year's game. Why not bring in his dad? Why That would be kind of nice to bring in Mr uh ed have a little father-son duo chem like they did with this freaking um what's it called the um the harvest stuff you know do have another father-son kind of chem let would be kind of nice uh chargers eric weddle now i was gonna originally put this as lorenzo neal but i decided to go with eric weddle because the chargers definitely do need defensive backs and safety uh help for for a lot of their stuff and I do think that Eric Weddle is a player that a lot of people really don't really give respect to as a safety. He was good for them for quite a bit of years. And I think it would be nice to have Eric Weddle return to Madden, especially now that height is not. Oh, pardon me. Especially since height is not as big of a deal as it is in Madden. 20, well, as it was in Madden 22. 
And then finally for the Raiders, Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon is a card that Rich Gannon is famous or infamous now in the Madden, in the Muck community for that throne tweet. You know the one I mean, winky face. Um, but it'd be nice to have Rich Gannon in the game. Uh, haven't had him since Madden 21. He was the first quarterback that got Slinger and Henry Hot Route Masters. He was a big deal when he dropped the Madden 21. Uh, and a lot of people think, and a lot of people would love to have him back, for, especially Raiders fans, um, because their quarterback position is pretty dreadful it's like like last year it was either Derek Carr or fucking out of position Bo Jackson that was their quarterback options they could use another just saying anyways so that's going to do it for the video guys these are the 12 legends I will these are the not 12 these are the legends for the AFC I would like to see in Madden 20 uh five next video is going to be the nfc side we're going to go through all that together and with that i'll see you guys in that next video i'm out peace